some of us, whether it's because we've been around long enough or that we've read history books, we've noticed that history does in fact repeat itself and sometimes in the minutest details. We've seen Barack Obama give a speech in front of the victory column in Berlin. Many didn't realize but on top of that tower is a angel and it is that very angel that the Germans used to pray to when they said Sieg Heil. In other words, Hail Sieg, Hail Victory. When they said Sieg Heil, they were actually praying to that angel that is represented on the top of the victory column. We've seen youth groups march into a room drilling, shouting Alpha and Omega, Alpha, Omega, which of course is the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. And this leads us right back to the book of Revelation in the Bible, telling us that the Messiah, the God, is the first and the last, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. And yet we've seen this youth group apply this to Barack Obama. We've seen young children singing songs in praise of Obama. And I've also showed you videos of how the children in Nazi Germany used to sing praises to the Fuhrer, to their Messiah. Now, you've probably all seen this sign of progress or people making the symbol of the O with their hands. O for, of course, Obama. Once again, as they say, history repeats itself. These hands that you're looking at now were the hands of the Fuhrer, Adolf Hitler. What he was doing is making a symbol of unity as he spoke about the unity of the National Socialists and their socialist ideas. Of course, we know that Barack Obama is a socialist, but many don't know that they're using the same symbol that Adolf Hitler used to use when he spoke of party unity in Nazi Germany. Thanks for listening.